look at YouTube. Oh, look. Meeting is now streaming Meeting live is now on, streaming YouTube. on YouTube. All right. Hi. Yeah. You see it on YouTube? It says meeting is now streaming live on YouTube on the top left corner. Hey, Wait, like redirecting to YouTube and we are, oh, look, oh, YouTube it. wants me. YouTube you wants me. Hey. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, you got some technology popping. YouTube? It says meeting is now streaming live on YouTube on the top left corner. Oh, somebody playing me. I hear me. Wait, redirecting to YouTube and we are all oh, on YouTube wants me. Camelia, is that you watching it? No. <laughs> Who's watching it? Now I hear I can hear it. I hear it. Okay, Whoever's so watching it, I hear it. I can hear you. I gotta what should I do? Camelia, that's you, Camelia. You have to turn it's, it off. It's not me, that's weird. I think maybe it's us. It's just the recording is doing I knew uh, it. Okay, it's, it's recording it, but whoever's I Whoever's watching it. As we're wa doing this, you can't do it. You got I, it. Well, so put I, it on mute. I, can't even find I muted it. it, but it's, it's it's recording. It's live. Oh, it's you. It's live on YouTube. It worked. What's your YouTube? I'm looking. Uh, YouTube.com slash Jackie Fabulous. Yeah. Two people watching it. That's right. That. Crushing That's the right. game right now. I'm now one of the two because there it is. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm one of the two. It's okay. That's so funny. We're learning. Yeah. I'm learning. How do I share the link? You know, okay, never mind. See, I'm focusing on the wrong I feel so, thing. Oh, that's, that's how you, you know. Yeah, you look old, Canel. You're doing all of this. I'm like, I'm just trying. Why you just <laughs> trying? I'm so I can't. How do I? I don't even know where to find it at. Y'all focusing on the wrong thing. I know we wasting time. Y'all wasting time. Y'all focusing okay. on the we wrong just, thing. We're, we're figuring it out. How y'all been during the quarantine, y'all? Any relationship stuff y'all going through? Like Day after this, if y'all keep playing around, okay, so I got I got a date after this, but y'all playing Wait, around. Like we're, not, we're not allowed to meet strangers, Lou. What are you He's doing? not a stranger. I know him. Do you do you COVID nineteen know him or you know him? I know him. Okay. Oh, that's not your first him. time not social distancing with him. Yeah. Yeah, we we he yeah he been all on my face. And stuff. <laughs> wait, okay, wait, 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 wait. Did you know him before the Rona? Okay, I've known him for like two years now. Oh, That's okay. not what we, yeah, but you, if you ain't been in the same quarters together the whole time, you may not have known him, known him. Oh, I, we haven't been in the same quarters the whole time, but we spent some time. But that means he, he could, that means he could get it and then you hook up and then now you got it. Yeah, where's his Who's environment? Who's to say I can't do it to him too? Y'all so sexist in these diseases. No, it's okay. I go see my boyfriend, and I don't. And I don't live with him, and he be on the train, the bus, grocery shopping. I'm like, look, are we gonna die? Are we gonna die happy? First of all, so I'm Jackie, you just popped up with a, with a whole boo. Okay, Jackie, here's, all of a sudden, okay, Jackie, first of all, post the pictures of some nice man cooking. You sound like an old lady. Some nice man cooking. cooking. Did you move out the murder cooking. house, girl? Did you move out the murder department? Yes, I'm, I'm in New York. I left California. Oh, that's right. You moved to New York. That's right. Okay. Thank you. You know what's funny? I, and this is not, I, I, I'm joking, just so you know. But pe people surprise at a woman getting a boyfriend is offensive. <laughs> we, are, we are attractive. What is going to happen that now when we get a man, everyone's like, you got a boy. Everyone is in complete shock. you moved to New York to get this man? Is that I don't know. I've known him. Here's the background. I have okay. known him. I met him when I was 18 in college. Oh, nice. But, and he had a girlfriend, so we were just friends. This is before I became a little bit of a hoe. And <laughs> he had a girlfriend, and then when I graduated, he transferred. I had a boyfriend for 10 years. Right. He, went, he was in the service, no contact. Then when me and my my boyfriend got married, got divorced. I got back with him. Long story short, I was always, I, I had a boo, he had a boo. Right. I moved to California for 20 years. So I, I would only see him when I came home for the holidays. So I'd always be like, look, I, I don't, and I don't believe in long distance. Long distance, in my opinion, does not work. So nope. I'm like, nope, so <laughs> it doesn't work. So I said, look, when I come home for the holidays, I'll holler at you, but that's all I'm gonna do. So when I moved back, <clears throat> he knew I was coming back. And he was like, so where you been? I'm like, and I was like, I'm, I'm not ready to see you. Cause I, know, 
because I know when I I knew when I saw him that I it'd be over. Like it would be right. it'd be matching tattoos, matching tracksuits. Uh -huh. And so I avoided <laughs> him for two months. The tracksuits. The tracksuits. I would rather go no, tracksuits no, tattoos. <laughs> Tattoos and tracksuits. Tattoos, tattoos, tattoos. and tracksuits. <laughs> Great love story. Dude, I love it. I love it. That should be the next name story. of your next special. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, na so now I, 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 I am inadvertently in a committed, committed relationship. Oh, nice. And hey. Inadvertently. Wait, what's inadvertently? <laughs> inadvertently, but not on purpose. Oh, Just okay. Got fell back into it. <clears throat> but I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'm. Just, well, I'm not sure. He said the other day, I think you're just using me for sex. You have been known. Yep. And I said, I hate when men figure shit out. <laughs> Facts. That's why you got to switch it up. You got to do stuff that makes them think like, you like them. Like, hang out with them in the daytime. You know? Yeah. Like, I never go over there. That's the problem. The day. I used to do that to a dude, too. And, too busy. He, and he figured it out. He was like, you only yes. come over at midnight. And you always leave before the, the, the sun come up. And I'm like, because I'm busy. I used to be I'm like, yeah, I got I got things to do, man. You know, work, grind, hustle. Right. <laughs> I but I don't even I didn't even realize it because I figured during the day we don't live together. I don't want I don't want to sit around his house smoking weed and drinking and listening to reggae. I want to do shit with my, what? With my day. That sounds like a great time. That that but is not every day. That is oh yeah, not every day. That's off hours when your work is done. Yeah. Or when when the sun goes down. Yeah. So when I go so wait, what do you want to do with him? I don't know. Well, first of all, we, there's nothing to do. I, I got back with him when the quarantine began. As soon as quarantine started, we got serious. And that shut that shut the world down. Right. So there there's no dates, there's no traveling, there's no doing anything. So all we've been doing during quarantine is fucking. That's all. I like, wish I was. <laughs> I haven't had sex since. When? Oh. February. February. It's really been since October. Lord have mercy. Okay, but before that, it was September. And like, it's I've been trying to beat me. Yeah, because it was, it was the same guys, so it don't count. Like, no. I saw him in September, and then I came back to LA and I went to New York, and then I saw him in February, and Michael Fall went on the plane. So it was like two quickies. So that's not even a whole, a whole session. So that that's don't half. count. Okay, intercourse that's counts, Lou. No, no, no. You can erase that's, it. But that's half. Yeah, you yeah. have. You can erase it. It's half. How sad is this, y'all? I had some bit come over on Saturday. Yes. That we've been flirting with each other for like a long ass time, oh, years, right? Uh huh. And then I couldn't do it. I was like, <laughs> why? Why? I think it was because I hit the weed. I think the weed made me paranoid. And I was like, you look like my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe? I was like, I'm so mad because I ain't had nothing since October. I need to fuck the shit out of you. And I. You know, I that's why you got to you got to balance it out. You got to do weed know. and alcohol. But you know what? I, no, I have... then you're going to be crossfaded. And then if you crossfaded, <laughs> you're going to get sick and pass out. Crossfaded <laughs> when you high and drunk at the same time. No, you got, it's the equal balance. Canelo, you got to do like one glass and a blunt. You can't do like a bottle and a blunt. You got to do a glass <laughs> and a blunt. And it is What is wrong? First of all, I'm it, is be in a minute. it is possible to get so high that you can't focus. Like I've been. I one time. Huh? I hit it one time. You, you, that oh, was God yeah. telling you, you shouldn't have did it. That was God. That was God. You that was God. It. Oh, you, God you blaming me. the weed. That's Jesus. <laughs> he was like, don't do it. He don't was like, don't do it. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? <laughs> well, she said, she said, don't do it. I'm going to do this. I ain't going to do this. But, but the, the, the combo of the alcohol and the weed together in moderation is perfect. It's perfect. I figured perfect. it out to a science. Perfect. Oh, really? That don't work with me at all. Why? I be sick. I end up getting sick, and then it's over. No, just a, just a little bit of each, but but you gotta you gotta start the action while you can't just do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, and then fuck. That's too. See, much. I'm building it up. Like I already took an edible, so I already know by the time I get to him, the edible gonna be kicking in, and uh -huh. he gonna have wine. So I just need one glass of wine to put the show on the road. But <laughs> after that, it's like the circus. Right. So wait, like this circus. is the question. 
Do you go over there with your face mask on? No. Yeah. Or do you I just do. go? You go over there raw, like you ain't got raw. no. No, I go raw over there and face mask. Mask. raw. When he opens I, the I, door, I can take the face mask off. I mean, what? To me, it's like this: where I'm going, I park in the parking garage, right? There's nobody else around. Why I need a face mask on? I get in the, in the elevator. By the time I get in the elevator, walk to his door, ain't nobody around. So I'm doing all that extra stuff, messing up my lipstick. I might as well just be ready, power walk, maybe get a light jog to the door, and then I'm ready. This bar a door from where you park. You got to do a jog. No, he lived on the first floor, but the parking garage is like two floors down. Yeah. And and the, ele the elevator be taking forever. So I'd be like, yo, let me take the steps. But it's like two flights. And I'm a pussy sweaty. I'm hot. Everything is like, <laughs> I just want to go sit down. <laughs> I hate when I'm I'm freshly showered, but I wear sweats. And when I get down, I'm like, oh. it, it was fresh. But now it I got to go. Let me jump in the shower real quick. Yeah, let me uh, real quick. And I, and I just got out of the shower. Right. So what do you wear when you go over on a midnight hustle? Like, do you wear leggings or, or no, dress? Leggings, leggings is too, it's too confining. You want it to be open and free. Usually just. I'm not dressing up. I'll wear. Not, I haven't worn a dress in two months. It'll be. It'll be loose sweats. But it also depends on what city you're in, because you're not gonna be in New York on the train in a dress like at midnight. No, I'm driving. Yeah. I, I, he's a he's a mile away. I drive oh. there. Oh yeah, mine's eight minutes away, so I'm like. Yeah, I don't. Are you in New York, Lou? Or are you in L.A.? I'm in L.A. right now. Mm -hmm. Courtney, Courtney, Courtney is the most out of touch. Don't know where nobody live. Where, where <laughs> nobody work. She's always confused. She's like, wait, so you still do comedy? She, oh, she be, she be going. I, I just posted a picture of me in front of the Hollywood sign. What do you mean? Where am I at? Like, <laughs> but you could have been no, but you could have been photo banking. You know, you could have photo banked and then posted it today, Lulu. You know what? Listen, you know. Yeah, yeah, we, we got pictures on our phone that cover all types of weeks and days and months. Exactly. exactly. Just in case niggas go on the moon, here this go here. <laughs> <laughs> ah, got it in our back pocket. Well, wait, so, but Lou, you said you were celibate, but you did just get some, kind of, sort of. Yeah, but he don't count, because... I, I love y'all logic. Your logic is okay. Now is we a, need to get into the topic of celibacy because I hate when people just use that word. Lulu, you using that word because you have not had sex for a certain amount of time, or you, did you actually say, "Let me be celibate for"? I wanted to be celibate for a reason, and I have said that I wasn't doing any more casual sex. It had to be somebody that I can see having a relationship with, who wants the same thing as me, who has the same goals as me. And like, it's literally something we could build a relationship together. So I haven't just been like, yo, I ain't getting them. I've been turning down a whole lot of shit. Okay. But I'm like, I'm like, it's like, it's just going to be sex. I don't want you around. Like, I don't want you in my house. I don't want to see right. you in the daytime. Mm -hmm. Like this guy, I'm like seeing him in the daytime, talking to him for hours, like for hours, hours, and hours, like sitting outside just talking for five hours. Like I'm in high school. Like, so oh, that, I those. I you know what I'm saying? So now I'm like, damn, I want to give you the pussy. Like, what you doing? That's, that's not celibate, though. No. But we're going to be together. We're going we gonna to be married by the end of uh, next year. Mm -hmm. you know it's going to be cute. You know what, I love, I, what I love about Lou is that she's like mm -hmm. me. And like, we're like, we're in love with everybody all the time. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> and we mean it. And we be meaning it. Right. Every if, if, I, if, if I think you're even moderately cute and I like you, I'm like, but I'm in love with him. I know. I'm in love with him. I already made no, kids. But, but, but Lulu be disappearing. So Lou will fall in love. And then and she'll be like, you'll be like three years later, like, Lulu, what are you doing? <laughs> she'll be like, girl, I was in love. She do. <laughs> she get married, take a, take a little break from the public life. And then you're like, wait. And you see a picture randomly after they've been together two years. You're like, who the fuck is this? Yeah, that's what I was like, who the fuck is this? I'm like, oh, that's my man, y'all. Oh, this is again. Now I know why the hell Lou, I didn't know where the fuck she was all them times. Like, <laughs> <laughs> thank y'all for filling me in. Because yeah, her last good. series boyfriend, she did disappear. And then I all of a sudden, only because is, he didn't like what I did. That's the main reason. Your job? He did, yeah. He, oh, he did not good. like me doing stand up. He did not like me making videos with Batch or anybody. He did not like me doing anything. If I got invited to do an event and I couldn't get a plus one for him, he'd be pissed. I'm like, yo, that's the kind of relationship I was. So I kind of just like fell back and I was like, yo. I Wait, just, oh. wasn't he, in the, he was in entertainment too though, right? He was in music. And also uh. his career 
when your career is gone like this and your career is like here and I'm surpassing you in so many ways and you start to feel a certain way, like he's uncomfortable now. Like now he's jealous. So if I tell him I have an audition, it's like, oh, all right. I'm like, but you're not even an actor. Like, <laughs> why is you mad? Like, you're not even an actor. So it got to a point where I just like didn't want to do stand up. I didn't want to fail. Oh, I man, I hate that. Don't make yourself small yeah. for no man. That was the worst. He would have ended up beating you if y'all yeah. got married. I'm glad oh, he's gone. Man. Fast. Or take a half of my yeah. money. That's the prime kind of candidate for someone who's violent when you are living your best life and he's mm. living no life at all. Yeah. Yeah. Right. He punched a hole in the wall, too. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Yep. No. Yep. All I told him was, <laughs> I was like, I knew your, I know your mama and daddy raised you better than this. <laughs> you gonna throw the mama and daddy in it? <laughs> <laughs> Try to hit him in the heart where it hurt, girl. Try to hit him in the heart. I haven't, I haven't really. Like, you don't know my life. <laughs> <laughs> It's, that's the thing is that when you meet a nice guy and he seems cool with what you do, you don't know how cool he is until he sees you in your element. Exactly. Like like this guy, he knows I'm a comic, but he has never seen, been around yeah. nothing real. I'm exactly. like, you need to come with me when the show is about me. Uh, exactly. And yeah. the room is full and I'm doing the meet and greet. I need right. to see whether you got smoke coming out your ears Hello. When, I am at, when I am in my element. Right. Like, oh, wait, he, he see AGTV? Right now, he saw, I, I sent him a video of the first audition. He's like, oh, girl, you killed it. I was like, you don't even understand. You don't even understand. <laughs> That's like. I was like, you don't oh, understand. Man. I want to I wanna have a billboard in Times Square. That's right. the goal. Are you prepared right. for that? Right. Be prepared. So, so he don't know nothing about Jackie Fabulous. No, he knows that I'm a comic by trade, but he has not been around any of it. That's kind of good on a good way. It's, like good, that. it's good because I, I, we've all been forced to close down the entertainer right. on that level. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm still, I'm still tentative because he hasn't seen the real thing. Right? It's been cool. He's like, oh, you were coming. You got a show. That's cute. And he got but a I'm fan on your ass when he see the fans and the male fans after the yeah. show. Yeah, like, and well, not even the male fan. When he sees me standing in the middle of ten male comics. Yeah, you're right. And I'm like, I'm like, they just my, they, they my cousins. And he'll be like, cousins my ass. And I'm like, oh, here we go. So we'll see. Yeah. Right now, he's not, he, we have not been tested for real. Right now, it's been, it's been all quarantine fun. Right. It's easy love right yeah. now. It's e it is the easiest in the world. But when he, when he got to stand in the back of the room, <laughs> we'll see how it is then. That's how you know. That's how you know. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah, that's hard. I, had, I was dating first. a dude. I was dating a dude, and somebody like you don't know how comics come up to us and just be talking after the show. He was like, "Who was that breathing all down your neck?" <laughs> <laughs> My whole boy. Yeah. Like, he, comic. Like, uh, he ain't look like you. He ain't look like it. It was. A <laughs> I saw Tony Baker. Hold up. <laughs> it, it was. I thought he it, like he could not handle it. No, so it don't, when, say. when they see you hugging, when, when they see us hugging and kissing on our fellow male comics, they're not gonna, they, they don't understand, like, he don't, he doesn't matter. But they don't, they just see a man, and why you, 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 you were talking, why you gotta kiss him hello? I'm like, all right, you know what? We're talking. <laughs> That's how you know. Right yeah. now, it's been easy, it's been they easy. But like, he don't see you as a comic, he see you as a woman. And I'm like, uh, I'm like, well, well, hopefully, I put enough yeah. work into it, they see right. the woman first. I'm like, yo, if I wanted him, I would have him. Hello. Or Trust I me. might have already had him, but I had none of your goddamn business. It's, it's none of your business. <laughs> <laughs> my co-worker. My, my past is my past. Stay out of my business. You know Stay what out of my business. Do y'all tell him? If he said, tell me all the comics you dealt with, do you tell him? I can't. <laughs> see, according to my would, logic, see, I see, would according to my me. logic, I can erase people, so. Well, uh, well yeah, Lou your a, logic. She adding and subtracting two times over there. Lou is in a parallel universe. Some people you. just don't count. Like, no, if your pussy walls got hit, it counts. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> but if you didn't hit the walls, if you didn't hit walls, um, it doesn't count. Or if there were no orgasms on your part, I didn't do oh, anything. That counts. <laughs> it does not count. No, no, I will erase those. You should. As a woman, you should. Did he have an orgasm? Yeah, what was he, that was, what was he doing? Aerobics? That was him working out. That wasn't Yeah, I sweat, you sweat. That's the workout. 
it you wasn't burn, sex work. I'll say you that. Burn, you you trying to you trying to get your steps in? That's not sex. Right. <laughs> Next time you tell him that was about two seventy calories right there. That was a that was a good cardio. So wait, we don't tell them. Are we not telling them? It I thought, it honestly at this point. I say don't tell them. It's better to not tell them. Yeah, it's bad. They can't take it, girl. They can't take And the ones who tell you that they don't care, they all lie. Lie. They okay. all care. Let me tell you, Cornelia, when I was in college, I had an argument with my, my boyfriend at the time, and I was really close with his mother. And his mother called me, and she was like trying to comfort me versus talking to him. And I was talking to her, and she said, let me tell you something right now. She's like, oh, I know you're dating my son, but I'm going to tell you something as a woman. Never, never tell him all your business. You keep some of that to yourself. I don't care if it's another man or whatever. She's like, you keep that to yourself. She's like, don't say nothing. She's like, I was like, oh! <laughs> I won't! Okay. And I, so, so I, I took that? Forever. I learned, I learned a very good lesson. My, my longest relationship, 20 to 30 years old, we were best friends before we started dating. And I was, you know, 19, 20, I was new to the world of, of love. And I told him everyone I've ever dealt with, ever. And that ruined our relationship because he remembered, he held the grudge. When we would go out and about in New York, we bumped into these dudes and he'd be, he'd be pissed. And I realized now, 15, 20 years later, right. there's no reason to tell them Literally anything. There's, <laughs> Literally anything. Anything because because they internalize and if if, if, if the guy is attractive, it, they're, they're so confused. If he's talented, honey, ooh. Oh. If he has anything going for him, they're like, well, why didn't that work out? I'm like, because the recent yeah. season things don't work out. Right. Especially now in our careers too, where we have access to people who are on television, who are in a public eye. And let's say you was messing around with somebody who on a TV show, and that's his favorite TV show, and now you're ruin the man's TV show. <laughs> Every time he look at you, it's like this motherfucker, the fuck. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? People yeah. like this is a good show. Like, <laughs> like he he mad now because you fuck you fuck Tommy from Martin. <laughs> now he can't watch Martin never again. <laughs> no reruns, nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. You're gonna be like, really? You're like, that was when he was a judge on who's got jokes. What is the big deal? Who's got jokes? <laughs> he was. Tommy was a judge on who's got jokes back in the day. And Tommy and, and Tommy, he's a very was, rest in peace. Right, right. The sweetest, flirtiest man. And I was like, Am I about to give Tommy some? Okay. Okay. No. <laughs> the same thing like that. I have a question on as far as like like I don't know about y'all, but like my sex life is exciting. So I don't like to be <laughs> super exciting on the first night because I don't want him to be like, oh, she just be doing this to everybody. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you have to hold some shit back. You do have to hold some, some shit back. Yeah, you can't, you can't like, apply all the tricks on the first time. Yeah, you crazy? I be, I be excited. Like, yeah, let's play. Like, I'm you want to like, like, oh, I like it. I'm like, I like it. Yeah, I think I want to take all the toys out and play all the toys at the same no. time. No, like, that was me. No. You're gonna freak him out. No, <laughs> no, they can't take no. all the Yeah, you gotta that's... have the toy and you gotta bring it out like you just bought it yesterday, even though it's maybe it may be a used toy. Don't act, don't pull that's the toy. Like you, you, can't, you can't come over and dip, go in your purse like you go get in the brush, like it's like <laughs> yeah. a bowl, and then pull it out, like let's try this, and it, it don't got no wrapper. <laughs> I got lint, and he's yeah. like, "Is this is this your is this your Wednesday vibrator?" You're like, right, oh, right. "I just bought it. Yeah. You need to bring it in the package over to the house." So, do I gotta write a schedule like July swallow, Air <laughs> August? We do this December. You just, you, you just gotta give him little by little because I I even though we make fun of men, I don't think men are dumb. I think they hold on right. to what they want to hold on to, and they remember, you know, when you they are. They remember, they remember the first blowjob. They remember when they made you. They remember everything. Mm -hmm. And if you pull, if you throw the, everything on them the first time, it'll be three months, a year later, and they'll be like, well, remember that time? They, they, they pull things out of their memory in an argument on purpose. That's true. They say we do that, but you're right, Jackie. They no. do. Men, yeah, they do. men, I, I will always believe that men are crazier than we are because when they fall in love, 
it ain't over until they're ready for it to be over. Mm-hmm. That's okay. very true. When 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 a man decides that I'm you and I are doing this, and right. I come out with I'm don't want to do this no more. They in their head they're like, bitch, we'll leave when I'm ready to leave. Right. You don't even have a just some word in this. <laughs> no, you ain't got a word. And then when you get and, and sometimes they turn out crazy. Other times they're just like they when they don't want it to be over. Sometimes you gotta go through some shit. I've had I've had you know a guy try and kill himself because. When, because when you you put so much work into getting them to want to fall to do it, right. so when, when they, they feel like it, they feel like if, if they work that hard to commit, then why? Then this is it. I put right. I, you got me. They're saying here's what it is. If they're like, look, you you got me. You tried to get me. You put all the work in. Right. I'm here. This is where we die together. Oh, no. <laughs> I had a dude trying to play the whole no. I'm a I'm a tell myself routine. You what? Mm-hmm. I said I had a dude pull that whole I'm gonna tell myself routine. I don't believe that. Yeah, no, no, because because what, what they do well, is never call call nine one one on their ass. You, you know, know what? what I really... Call nine one one when they do that. Call for help. Hey, sure, let me call nine one one and get you some real help. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking Cause, off because they don't. They never do what's necessary to really die. Yeah. Right. right. Like five aspirin. Nigga, that ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> I'm gonna drink all of this handy right now. You do that all the time. Like, <laughs> weekend, right. I had my ex-husband, he what did he do? He he attempted to drink dishwashing liquid. Oh my god. And I was like, go, go ahead. You'll be you'll be so clean when it's over. This is not gonna kill you. I tried it. I was in, it was in California. I lived in Orange County and I was driving him to the airport, Ontario airport. So we were breaking up and we're driving, I'm driving. He's in the passenger. He kept opening the door on the freeway. Oh my God. But I was in the slow lane. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, it was a Toyota Corolla back the old, the small boxing okay. one back in the day. Oh, and he was six, five. I'm like, if you fall out of this car, you will skin your knee at best. <laughs> You'd be all right. <laughs> You be fine. <laughs> I'm like, let me be in the fast lane, right? You know, with no traffic, doing a hundred. Then you might die. Do that shit with me in the convertible. No. <laughs> <laughs> you want to impress me? Take your seatbelt off. You know. <laughs> right. right. Oh, so they you. they know what to do to give you the impression that they want to die, but they're not gonna do enough to actually die. No. That had, when I was 16, this little boy did that to me. He we wasn't even going together. He got my phone number from my cousins. I come to find out he catfished me. The picture he showed me was fake. He was like 500 pounds. Ooh. Just a mess. He would call me and would be like, I'm gonna kill myself if you hang up the phone. <laughs> so I told my mama, I was like, Mama, this little boy said he's gonna kill himself. She said, Girl, just hang up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Okay. <laughs> like mama said, my mama said I can't talk to you. My mama said I gotta go. My mama said I gotta go. I don't go. My mama don't believe you. It's like, girl, just hang up the phone. Just hang oh. up the phone, baby. <laughs> well, I've never had anybody say they're gonna kill themselves. I've had stalkers. I've had. I went through a whole little time period of stalkers, but I never oh, had. Is that that's plural? More than one stalker? Yeah, it was so weird. I had like a little. Maybe a ten-year period of stalkers. I don't know. Ten. That's half your life. That's a long ass time to have. It was a long time. It was years. Yeah, I, I, I went through one stalker after another. I was like, fuck. What the? What are you doing to them? This some of them I hadn't even had sex with. It was crazy. I don't know where that mojo is. I need to find that mojo. <laughs> <laughs> you get you getting them whipped like that with sex, girl. Girl, it was scary though. It's kind of crazy, you know. No, because here's the thing that I'm also leery and careful of i'm always careful of how much i fight i don't fight with guys like I, when it when it gets like that i'm like you know what i'm gonna go home you're gonna go home we'll talk right. it out. we'll figure it out because you always gotta remember that they could kill you like you uh-huh. that's not i mean there are times no, where too, so, time, they're, true but let's say you're in a position where you're not getting along and you know, if you decide, all you got to do is just snap your neck. If you get a strong dude, because it's not a matter of if strength, it's a matter of surprise. Hello. And if they decide they want to, and every and I every time I commit to someone, he's always way bigger than me, stronger, hands twice my size. I'm like, 
every now and then he'll be on top of me. And I'm like, you know what? If he wanted to crack my neck, <laughs> this, this could be my last I mean, day. I've been choked a couple times. What is uh, <laughs> And uh, it's, you just got to wiggle your way out. It's, it's a wiggle. It's a wiggle move. You know what? What? You know, try not to tense up, you know? You what know. do you mean choke? Both hands choke? Uh, oh. Yeah, like, like put me on a wall like Magneto type shit and my oh, feet dangling what? in the air. Right. Girl, call what? for help. Did you have a little conscious of me? Uh, almost, but I, I broke out of that shit. Like, no, you got right. to snap out. <laughs> you got to like, what up? <laughs> you got to be Girl. careful. You, don't you have PTSD? They need to be scared of you. I know. Right. You have PTSD too. So we was both like trying to kill each other. <laughs> <laughs> we, both, we both crazy. Like, right. I still got my gun. I got my gun too, motherfucker. What now? Yeah, it was like, you shoot first. Or you shoot first. So you shoot first. <laughs> Love is crazy, child. Isn't it? But it's so much fun. Isn't it? So I'm, much I'm, fun. I'm, I'm feeling and being in love. I mean. Hey, if you ain't trying to kill me, you ain't love me. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> if, you, if you're not jealous and unreasonable, it ain't love. It ain't, it ain't love. love. But you comfortable with me? Yeah. Uh, any, any, when you date, date a guy who don't give a shit about nothing, he don't give a fuck about you. <laughs> if he not, if he not jealous, if he's not unreasonable, if you're not, if you don't think that for one minute he might murder you, that's not. I need a tinge of jealousy just to know. You, what we I, I do need for you to care. I need for you to look at me and know if you think I'm cute, somebody else does too. Hello, exactly. You gotta acknowledge that you got a cute girl. If you act like I'm your boy, oh, it's a problem. Yeah, it's a it's a problem. I can't stand that because I'm jealous. But I do it, you know. But I I can hide it in humor where he don't know I'm really. I'll kill everybody you know. <laughs> But I hide yeah. it. I hide it in jokes. Right. You know, we, we have the ability to hide the crazy. <laughs> like, oh, I'm just, you know, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I feel like I'm just playing. You're not. I'm just playing. I, play. I, I ain't gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. I ain't gonna climb up these steps. I'm gonna kill them. But like, what did you, you say, Lou? Like, like, Lou, what you say in your tag? Like, yo, I won't. I'll uh, I'll kidnap the girl and leave her somewhere. Don't. Oh, I'll, say, I'll, <laughs> I'll kidnap the bitch and duct tape her and leave her somewhere. But uh. <laughs> You know, that was no, but Lulu, Lou, Lou, you weapon, you trained in weaponry, so you like literally could. Yeah, and the art of surprise. Harm someone. <laughs> did your did your eyeball just get big? I love the challenge. You know, I love going in the bush for a nigga. You know, gotta you gotta you gotta say they one up on these dudes yeah. because they. I remember it's the first time really I realized crazy. I was crazy because I, I I stalked him like my ex boyfriend like. He, he was telling me, we was going through things. The same one who tried to, like, you know, we was fist fighting and stuff. He was like, I'm out with my boy. Now, at the time, he had just tried to cross to become a Q. He was, like, he was in college. So, you know. Q's he, are always the hottest one. You know what I'm saying? So, I was with him before he was a Q, but I was like, you know, I'm solidified in my relationship. You know, this is, we've been there. And he called me, and he was like, yo, I'm not coming out home. I'm with, I'm with my, my lawn brothers. And I heard a chick in the back say, oh, B. I said, who? That ain't, that ain't sound like no brother to me. <laughs> and he's like, nah, nah, I'm at my dean's house and there's some chicks. And he's like, oh, stop, stop. I was like, who are you telling to stop? Who are you telling to stop? He was like, nah, that's, uh, you know, and then it, did it click. It was like something snapped. Mm -hmm. you know? I lived, I was going to school in Virginia. Virginia's this big. Can't, school campuses, you know where everything is. I know where his dean lives. I know what your car looks like. I know the campus. I'm popular too. Drove by his dean's house. I ain't seen no car. I said, oh, I know where you at. He was at his LB's house. I go to the LB's house. I go right to the door and I can hear people having a good ass time. They having a good fucking time. Ha ha, he can. Chicks laughing. He laughing. I gave the police knock. All you hear was shh, 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 shh. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh. And I try to look in the peephole, because you know, if you look in the peephole, you can kind of see yeah. what's going on. <laughs> and he had put his finger over the peephole. I saw, it's like one soldier trying to out soldier another soldier. And I was like, oh, okay. I was like, I hear you in there. I said, I'm not fucking stupid. I'm going to see you outside. He thought I was bullshitting, right? So he trying to out trick me. So I go outside and sit on his car. He called me. I'm like, what's up? He's like, uh, where you at? Outside. He look up and he see me at his car. He said, 
oh shit. And he took off and started running. And I'm chasing him in the parking lot. Now he's we're running around in the parking lot doing like like day day and uh <laughs> my sister. We're doing all of that and we talking about cars and shit. Yeah, so people yelling from the from the balconies like get him low, get him. <laughs> so he gets in his car, he starts to take off, and like as soon as he takes off, I open the door. So he, the car is in mid motion and I he had just got branded. And I snapped the hell out of his oh. chest. And he started crying. He was put the car apart. He was like, ah! I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'm not stupid, motherfucker. I'm gonna see you when we get home. And he he went home and was blowing me up. I stayed out all night. I was like, yeah, don't answer my phone. I even go. I, I told him I was at some nigga. I was at my home to help. But I was just like, I'm not. I was like, I had to stalk him down, play detective to figure out what you was doing. Just to prove that I'm not crazy. <laughs> you got me at the really? crazy trying to prove that I'm not crazy. <laughs> exactly. Now I got and why was he crazy. running? Right. What was running going to do in the parking lot? Like, where are you going? Where, where is you going? Where, he tried to outbeat me to get to the car to take off. That's what it was. Yeah. And But that's a big ordeal that got you there. I can, the jealousy in me, the one time I saw a, like a, a chain, a feminine chain, like balled up by the lamp on the nightstand. And there's no reason for any feminine anything to be in his house. I'll see something as small as that and okay. that will ruin my night. As it should. Cause I'll be like, <laughs> cause I'll be like, who's this bitch's chain? Who's this chain belong to? And they always like, that's been there. And mind you, sometimes it's true. But I'm also like, if you know I'm gonna be over here, get rid of everything feminine. That don't belong to me. I don't right. want to see no. I don't want to see no hair tie. No fucking. Sometimes they think it's yours. They don't even fucking know, and they think it's yours. No, <laughs> it, it it be random bitches from the past. But I'm like, but that kind of thing will make. Like I, I'm really jealous, and I just you know what though. What what changes that if you date somebody who's like that with you? Because I was like that, and then I dated somebody who would do that to me, and I was like, oh. This nigga crazy. <laughs> he crazy girl. Like I wear like a coat of perfume, and it's it has like it's like a it's like a heavier perfume, mm -hmm. and it's mine. One day he like hugged me. He was like, "You smell like a man." We had a two hour argument about how I smelled like a man, <laughs> even though I wasn't hugging no man. What? It's crazy. Which, like which perfume was it? I'm never gonna get that one. Girl, crazy. I don't need that kind of problem. We, he and I, the guy now, we'd gotten a fight the other day because he's, he thinks I wasn't forthright with him about my my past before he and I got back together. And I kept saying to him, what I did before we started this is irrelevant. But, his, but he's saying that I told him that I was, you know, I wasn't sleeping with anybody. I didn't have anybody before we got together. And then yeah. later on, I mentioned to him someone that was a hookup. Like, didn't matter. And he's like, well, how, how about him? I was like, he didn't, that didn't matter. But I forgot that I didn't include him in our previous, but I'm like, you don't understand. If you weren't the man then, I could have had the yeah, lake on a train on me. You don't, that they don't matter. It don't matter. I have a past. I'm an adult, motherfucker. Yeah. What do you think I've been doing before? I'm, what? Yeah, I've been living life. The fuck? That's unrealistic to me. They want a resume yeah. of dicks before they get to them. Like, all right. Because they don't, the, but they don't want you to ever, they don't want you to have an experience. Right. How they do you think I learned all these amazing tricks? <laughs> <laughs> that's why you can't give all the tricks out. That's why right. you can't. It's all your hoes. It's later at night. I'm going to just do this. Like... <laughs> yeah, just later, girl. Just <laughs> lay down. Sometimes, sometimes it doesn't pay off to, to be skilled at what you do. Right. Yeah, it because, won't. Lay down. Because, play like, dumb over. How should I mow this leg? What should I? Especially, especially blowjob. If you know what you're doing there, they, their first thought be, you are good at this. Yeah, I, I fucked up because I gave them too much of a preview. And I was like, oh, I know, I, I did it. I did it. I felt, <laughs> as soon as I did it, I felt it. I was like, oh, you fucked up. <laughs> as, 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 as soon as he comes, you're like, oh, that he came too fast. That's not going to be good for me down the line. <laughs> down the line. <laughs> so I'm in a couple of days, like, how the fuck she did that so good? Yeah. They're, 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 sitting, they're sitting there like, ooh, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> they have plenty of time before. They have plenty of time. 
So yeah, I'm like, okay, all right. I'm gonna just play drum tonight. Sometimes you do have to just, just lay there and let them let them just take the lead. Because you see that last time I came over in a bodysuit and a pullover hoodie. I was like, he's never getting this. Never. <laughs> this is like standard, don't touch me. He had me butt ass naked in like 30 seconds. <laughs> and I don't remember how the clothes came off at all. A bodysuit? I got her like a long fashion over like bodysuit, like a onesie. A onesie, but not not even a half onesie, the full onesie, like down to the ankle. Yeah. Like yeah. Was it, was it sleeveless or it had sleeves? It was a tight, but I had a pullover hoodie. Tight. How easy hoodie. to take off? No, it was. It's not a that zipper. It's, it was a tight, like, it's a tank. You take your arm out the tank and you pull No, you can't do that. It's one of those joints you have to go like this over. How? You said I it's a onesie. I don't, I don't it's, a, it's a onesie and a hoodie. I was doubled up. Does this have a snap in the crotch? No. How the hell you get that off then? Don't remember. <laughs> and I had a bra <laughs> at some point off. Like, you wore a scuba suit and you don't remember how you got out? <laughs> <laughs> Tonight I'm going to a full new job and everything. Like, ah, you not touching me. Just, I'm going to be celibate. Like, he likes sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I surprise myself. Like, I have found, like, when I was in LA, I have found, like, some of my panties in the console of my car door. I'm like, what do, what do I be doing? You don't know, you don't realize it until you find old shit. You're like, where is that, that, that song? My favorite song. I don't know where it is. I, I found it in, in, like, the drawer in the bathroom. I was like, I'm a I'll pay for that in a jacket before. I was like, what is yes. that? Pockets? Yeah, I'm like, what's that doing? Who is this? Because <laughs> sometimes you go over there with all the essentials on, but when you come home, you're not putting all that shit back on. So, so you throw on, I gotta have my ass up. You throw on a thong in the purse, the socks is in the in the trunk. And that, that's why you wonder why, like, how come my underwear keep disappearing? It's because you don't you don't put it back on when you go home. Well, I hate when you leave some of somebody's house and they don't tell you. I left something over my friend's house that I was, uh, you know, kicking it with at that point. Yeah. And so, like, two weeks later, I'm going on a date with somebody else, and these are my favorite shoes that I wore over with them because we went to dinner and stuff. I'm like, where the fuck are my shoes? Where are my shoes? I just couldn't break it. I could not figure out where these shoes were. Losing your mind. I <laughs> Losing my mind. Uh -huh. So I was like, could it by chance I left? I said, no, that's so long ago. I know I've seen them since then. Last resort, let me call him and see. He like, yeah, I got a bag of shoes and uh, some other shit. My bra, I left my bra over there. And he just had a whole bag from that one night. I didn't even know I had left a bag worth of shit. Now like, <laughs> he had a big shopping bag worth of shit that I had left that I had not missed. I was like, what? I've lost earrings. I've lost things that I actually value. I was like, can you right. like, when I go home and and you you go to bed and you see all of my shit everywhere? Can you text me? He, let me know. No, they want you to call him back. He wants I, you to call him for the stuff. I'm like, I went back for some panties, like, though. I'm, I'm probably this. gonna go back. You, you ain't gotta hoard my stuff. You ain't gotta hoard it. Now I remembered when I got to the bottom of the steps. I was like, oh, hold up, I left them panties upstairs. Those are eighteen dollar Victoria's Secret thongs. Let me get those back, player. <laughs> I just, you, you want a bet? Let's go get them. I just, I just recently got rid of all of exes and hookups and flings. I had like a basketball short collection. You would have thought I played. <laughs> I love t-shirts. I love, oh, uh -huh. I love, I love their hoodies when they're big. But, but I used to dress like, like left eye, like from back in the day. Cause I wore, I wore his basketball shorts, his hoodie. For some reason, this stuff is just so. It's not flattering at all, but it's comfortable as hell. And they smell good. And they smell good. Yeah, what am I supposed to wear tonight? You got me stressing. And they smell good. <laughs> well, if you if your shit coming off like that scuba suit, honey, you ain't gonna get the way. Yeah, but it's still, yeah. I need the initial, I need him to I be know, like initially right. like, mm. Like, even though you know you're gonna get it, like, I still need you to be like. Yeah, I know, I know. I know. You know, like, like, I had a t-shirt from a guy from back in like 10 years ago, and I wore it in one of my little, silly selfies and he uh uh sent me a message on facebook he's like is that my t-shirt and i was like yeah but i had we broke up 15 years ago this shirt <laughs> but he was like, he's like he's like i like that shirt i'm like i do too <laughs> i got rid of all exit stuff because i wanted to do i wanted to cleanse and right. i couldn't cleanse with every t-shirt i had a, a i had a collection 
of this dude's clothes, the workout clothes. And I'm like, this is holding, it's energy. I, I wish I could have more free sex than I have. Like, I have to like the person. Of, like, I have to really like Ain't too late. To what? Wait, I know that's right. But well, I don't... I'm getting real personal right now. What'd you say? Say it. No, say it. We're going, we're getting, we're getting off soon. <laughs> yeah, because we got 10 more minutes. Yeah, Lou, got, right. Lulu got peen on the way, so she got to get out. I'm about to touch her right now. Get personal, Courtney. Close it out. What, what are we going right. to say? <laughs> so the thing is, though, if I'm not feeling, even if I'm attracted to him, if I'm not feeling that, mm-mm, you know what I mean? Like somebody really liked, I can't have an orgasm. So then I done went and had sex, and then I'm still frustrated afterward because I didn't have, I really had to like the person to have an orgasm. I hate that. I know, I hate it. Pretend it's somebody else. Pretend it's the person you like. If, if we were if, if we were to keep it real, sex is at its best when you are crazy about the person. Yes. Oh, that's the best. When yeah. when you when you love everything about them, even if they are messed up and their their world needs work. Yeah. But, but their being you like everything about sex is fantastic. Yeah. I forgot mm-hmm. that it could be that good. This good. Right. Right. I've been, I've been through so many. Just you know, some something, something to do. Right. Even if it was good and everyone came, whatever, the, the heart's not. The heart. That making love yeah. feeling is like but what it's like. But that making love feeling make you, it make, it make you propose. I'm oh. like, I have proposed. <laughs> I'm, gonna, <laughs> we just, I'm like, we could just go on ahead and get married. He's like, what? I, I was like, we should. He, he was the way he was kissing me. I was like, we go together now. Right. <laughs> we go if, together. if your whole body starts to tingle, you're like, I'm done. This, you the one. This That's is it. it. You it. Do it. Okay, I'm not alone. Thank you. No, no, no. That's just it. don't disappear. Jackie and Lou do not disappear. I ain't, uh, know, I ain't even here right now, girl. What you talking about? <laughs> Lou's, Lou's bottom half is at his house right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, walked off the whole time y'all was talking to us. Like, man, to, you don't need me no more. Bro. You know. <laughs> so, I'm going to go start. I'm going to warm the car up. I'm going to go warm the car up. <laughs> trying to find an outfit, huh? <laughs> oh god ladies we're gonna do this again y'all could y'all be my regulars because uh chocolate sundays lonnie said that she, they might want to add this show to their lineup of they have all these virtual shows oh do and, they oh yeah let's do it so i gotta get i gotta get the kinks out yeah. so maybe i'll i'll holler at y'all again now that i understand how technology works exactly yes, i would say uh, if y'all can invest in a headset or a microphone there you somebody- go Somebody's audio is a little off, and uh, yeah, so. it might be mine. Perfect. My internet is hot garbage. Yeah, yeah I was about to say, yeah, you're it's, it's hot garbage. I was about to say, Cornelia, your internet, you are 2005. Yeah, you're on that iPhone 4. I'm like, Cornelia, I'm a Riley guy. Cornelia is Teddy Riley. Teddy Riley. I'm gonna. They have a Bluetooth mic that I want to buy, and I, I hear that's better for you know videos. I I, I, oh, I have this mic. Damn, it's really dope. It's really amazing. Why you got the biggest one they make? That's how I roll, baby. That's how I roll. I was like, what's the biggest blackest one? Give it to me. That Give is it a to nice me. big one. That is a big ass beautiful one though. That's what I was saying. I'm trying to tell y'all, heart out, heart out. I'm about, I'm about to go make a, make a trip myself. <laughs> high five, look, high five. Why is get me turned on? <laughs> it's big and black. That's what it is. Big and black. Yes, it is. Thank you, Jesus. The whole time we was doing the show, I was looking at the mic like, yeah, I'm ready to go. All right. <laughs> look at her face. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. <laughs> all right, all right, ladies. I'm going to sign out. Thank you for doing it. We're going to do it again and again and again and again Sounds till fun. it's smooth. And we're all going to chip up, do a GoFundMe for Cornelia's uh, Wi-Fi. <laughs> you know what? I got to I gotta get an Ethernet cord. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to yeah. get a cord. Wait, when is, by the time we, we get that message, it'll be uh, next week. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> I believe you. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Are we going to say what Fridays or are we going to change the day? No, it'll be, it'll be on Fridays. Fridays? Yeah, I might try and do before then just to do another one that's more seamless before next Friday. But for now, next Friday, we'll do it again. Okay. All right, ladies. Love you very much. Thank you. Good to see y'all. Sleep tight. Bye.